Hello everyone, Zephyrnerd7 here, and welcome to a build showcase. And now I am going to be showing you a CTF map that I made for Mindplex. Now I have made the CTF map before, and I made it for... I've It's been like a work in progress for like two years now. And I originally made it for another server, but anyway, this is pretty much modified for Mindplex and I have big flat PvP areas. Now the main thing you'll notice about the map is its size. This map is huge but I hope that's to, but it's meant to be huge and I hope that will counteract the fact that usually the game ends in just like a few minutes because because the cap limit is five if team captures a flag five times then they win the game and I honestly want it to last longer than that and so I made this map so the red base you have the base right here and the flag right in front of it now because there it has pretty much access to the flag platform from all sides I made this hedge barrier around it with only three access points and over on the blue side, let's wait till I go there. I also put in lots of ease of access roads so you don't have to like jump all over the mountain. And then over on the blue side, the flag platform is right in front of the base again and it has the hedge barriers, but it can be accessed from three points again. Now, each base has this, which is an overhead map of the entire grid. Now you'll see that I am here right now and there are three main trails I call them the North Central and South Trail. This up here is the North Trail, this down here is the South Trail and obviously the one in the middle is the Center Trail. Now the North Trail right here it has this huge arch bridge and it's and I spent a lot of time working on this and it's very impressive and then it goes down onto this spur which I bet none of you know what a spur is it's an orienteering term but and it comes over here and it goes up this mountain and goes a little bit under and then it goes over another huge arch bridge and it goes to the side of this huge mountain right here and then you have two options either you can continue on like mountain parkouring just be aware there's going to be no road or you can turn left and go down all the way down and meet up with the center trail this meets up with the center trail right before the red flag now the south trail it goes down here and then it goes over a small bridge right here and then it comes up the hill side and then it goes over this huge truss bridge right here and it meets up with this tall plateau and it goes over here goes over this little arch bridge and it goes over to the blue base now for the center trail for the when the center trail meets up with the blue base it actually comes at it from two different ways there's this right here there's this path right here and then there's this which goes straight up the front and goes straight up to the flag so obviously the blue team is going to want to defend that you see when I was originally making the map I was a little bit concerned that the blue base was going to be easier to defend than the red base and so I made and so I tried to make it as even as possible but anyway the central trail goes down here and it goes through the main what I call this the main PvP area because it's equal distant from the bases even though it is a little bit on blue sides of the line but blue has to climb down a mountain to get there so it would take equal time running from the bases to get here and then the central trail goes over here and it goes up here it goes slowly up and then it goes over this little bridge and then it meets up with the north trail right before it goes to the red. Now there are some connector roads like for example this one connects central and south 
in the central north. This one connects this these two, and then there's this one, which goes nicely into the side of the hill. And then there's not another one on the central trail, but right here, this big suspended bridge goes from the south trail to the north trail, and it is easily the tallest feature on the blue side. The mountain is the tallest feature on red side, but this is the tallest feature on the blue side. And I also made a connector from the central trail to the south trail in the shape of this stairwell on the side of the mountain right here. So that's all the trails on this map, and I want to talk about some of the other features. Like, for example, this is the spawn platform. The team spawns here, and I, and I haven't really decided on a location for any of the kits but there could be the kits over here and then if you'll notice outside you've noticed these houses I put four of them on the map one here one down there one over there and then there's one out there that's not loaded but you'll see it in a second there it is and then there's this little mini house built into the side of the mountain I just felt like making it and then for the red side, we can have the kit selectors over here. Okay, now the item restock platforms. There is one right here. There is one right there. You see the gold block. And also those are yellow sheep. I had a bit of fun with colored sheep a while back. On the blue side, the restock platforms are there on the spur and right here on the end of the plateau. And those are the main features of the CTF map. And I do I will say that there are some traps and I'm only going to be showing you two of them right now. So let's say that you're PvPing someone and you manage to get someone right up against this wall with your sword. Oops. Um there. So you manage to get someone right up against this wall with your sword. If if you get him up against this wall, then all you have to do is step on the pressure plate, and they go down there. And it turned into a dirt block under the stone for half a second for some reason. And then the other trap, if you haven't noticed already, is this hole. It looks like a plain old hole, right? Die of fall damage. Nah. It goes down two ravines. Basically, when I was exploring the caves of this map, I found these ravines and thought, this is way cool, I have to feature this in some way or form, and that is the way I am featuring it. So that's pretty much it for the CTF map. Oh, and also, one more thing. To reduce lag, I deleted all the blocks from the wall, like, eight chunks out using world edit. Okay, so I promise you that that is all of the CTF map, and I hope Mindplex accepts this, I hope you enjoyed this, and if Mindplex doesn't accept it and you're like the, and you're like the owner of a new server with a CTF game, I don't know, whatever. This is a CTF map, anyone can use it, world downloads in the description, and goodbye.